The federal government of Nigeria is considering introducing a levy on telecom services, among other fiscal measures, to boost its revenue. Now, this comes nearly 10 months after suspending the 5% excise duty on telecommunications and import tax adjustment levy on certain vehicles. I have titled this episode, The Return of Telecom Tax. <laughs> We'll look at this even more and also look at the reaction of the Association of Licensed Telecom Operators of Nigeria and the updated import levy by the Central Bank of Nigeria. On that note, I'd like to welcome you to Market Square. My name is Oluwa Pelubi, and I'm happy to have you join me on the show. In July 2023, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu had ordered the suspension of the 5% excise duty on telecommunications and the import tax adjustment levy on certain vehicles. Now, this intention to revisit the telecom tax is also majorly in pursuit of a $750 million loan from the World Bank. The stakeholder engagement plan for Nigeria tagged accelerated resource mobilization reforms between Nigeria and the World Bank was part of the efforts to raise non-oil revenues and safeguard oil and gas revenues. What was agreed in that meeting was that without decisive actions and reforms to pull together fiscal resources, Nigeria will not be able to provide sufficient resources to deliver quality public service and could even risk reversing its development progress by decades. To mobilize funds, there is the need to increase revenue in some targeted, in some targeted industries and sector of the economy. Uh, this goes without saying. This has to happen. We need to be able to um, increase revenue in some targeted industries and sectors in our economy. But this will uh, broadly strengthen the government's financial position by enhancing its capacity to manage and mobilize domestic resources effectively, which includes um, improving tax and custom compliance and also protecting oil revenue, the revenue that comes from our oil sector. In that meeting, there were two specifications for two sectors. First, for the Association of Licensed Telecom Operators of Nigeria, there will be the reintroduction of levy on telecom services, and we require that all telcos are mobilized to fully participate in the collection of such revenues. Number two, for the Committee of Bankers, there will be the introduction of electronic money transfer levy on electronic money transfers through the Nigerian banking system, and in a way, would need the um, we need the buy-in of all banking institutions. So somebody would say this sounds like the idea that sponsored um, cybersecurity levy, which has now been suspended. The document also stated that services that will be uh, that will be subjected to the newly introduced exercises are regulated by key public sector agencies. The introduction of the new revenue measures will require the application of existing regulatory mechanism um, available within these institutions. The concerned institutions include the Nigerian Communication Commission and also the Central Bank of Nigeria. At the moment, Nigeria's request for a loan from the World Bank has not been approved. But if you remember in 2000, 2021, 2021, the federal government of Nigeria had initially requested to obtain a loan from the World Bank, but that move was altered without clear, without clear reasons. Now, if this loan, this loan if approved by the World Bank, will constitute a significant portion of the program's budget, and the government is expected to contribute around $1.17 billion through annual budgetary. However, the suspension on the telecom levy may be lifted as part of the requirement to meet the target for a new yet-to-be-approved World Bank loan. Now, in reaction to that, the chairman of the Association of Licensed Telecom Operators of Nigeria, Mr. Benga Debayo, said that the telcos, the telecoms should not be, the telecom sector rather, should not be a palliative to solve economic woes. According to Mr. Debayo, the telecom industry faces numerous challenges that hinder its growth and development. He emphasized the need for sustainable investment, um, effective regulation, and a business environment that is conducive to drive progress. The GSMA Digital Report, launched on the 9th of May 2024, highlights the telecom's 8% contribution 
to um, 13.5% of Nigeria's GDP when considering the broader IC, ICT ecosystem. The report also highlights the significant challenges plaguing the industry, including um, some challenges to respect investment, right of way, multiple taxation, and even regulation. At present, there are over 45 associated charges and levies on operators, despite the supposed removal of right of way costs. These charges may uh, create an unfavorable business environment that might discourage investment and hinder the industry's ability to deliver quality services. The chairman of the Association of Licensed Telecom Operators of Nigeria, Mr. Genga, said while the government tries to provide incentives for the public on account of ongoing macroeconomic um, headwinds, the telecom sector should not be used as a palliative to solve the people's problem. He said, um, we must prize right to sustain the industry. We must prize right to have the right investment. That's, that's a statement by Mr. Benga Adebayo. It's important that the industry is allowed to operate sustainably. This is my own words. Um, with the right investment and regulation so that service delivery is of quality and um, our economy in Nigeria experiences some level of progress. Once stakeholders are encouraged, once policymakers are encouraged, once regulators are encouraged, once operators are encouraged to work together, that would help to address the challenge that presently face um, the telecom sector. In order for economic growth to happen and in order for that sector to fulfill its potential, because it is a critical sector in Nigeria's economy. So the call now is for the government to work with the telecom sector, have a meeting with stakeholders, have a meeting, have a meeting with, with policymakers to ensure that uh, a good agreement is reached so that the sector, which contributed about 13.5% to our GDP in 2023, can even do more now. Let's now do the numbers. Inflation report for the month of April, which was released yesterday, the 15th of May 2024. Nigeria's airline inflation rate increased from 33.20% in March 2024 to 33.69% in April 2024. That's according to the National Bureau of Statistics um, report released yesterday. This increase represents a month over month shift of 0.49% points in the airline inflation rate, according to the Consumer Price Index. Noticeably, food inflation reduced by 1.11% occasioned by the fall in the rate of increase in the average prices of basic food commodities. And that sounds like a good news um, from that time. And let's see, we look forward to the report for the month of May. Probably, most likely, um, food inflation should reduce when the report for the month of May comes out. The value of Naira depreciated by 1.56% as one dollar exchanged for 1,472.84 Naira from 1,449.80 um, Naira per dollar on the Nigerian Autonomous Foreign Exchange Market, while the BU change rate depreciated by 1.56% from 1,501 Naira per dollar to 1,523 Naira per dollar. Customs service has adjusted the foreign exchange rate of the payment levied on import of goods by 3.1% following the further depreciation of Naira against the United States dollar. The exchange rate was increased to 1,502.14 uh, 14 Naira per dollar from 1,457.1 one Naira per dollar on Wednesday, the 15th of May, 2024. That's according to data obtained from the Nigeria Customs Service online trade portal. The increase in custom foreign exchange duty rate represents about 3.1% increase in the rate of each dollar required to clear goods from the port. 
It also represents an increase of 45.12 Naira in the exchange rate of each dollar um, needed to clear goods uh, at the port. Normally, the customs service adopts foreign exchange rates recommended by the Central Bank of Nigeria for import duties based on trade activities in the official forex market. Before now, precisely 23rd of February, the Central Bank of Nigeria directed customs and other related parties to adopt the closing rate in the official window for import duties. The Apex Bank has said that the FX rates at the point of importation should be used for import duty assessment until the termination date and clearance are finalized. This would enable the Nigeria Customs Service and importers to effectively plan appropriately and reduce the uncertainties around varying daily exchange rates in determining their revenue or cost structure, respectively. Since the World Bank, since the Central Bank of Nigeria floated the Naira on the 14th of June 2023, the currency has been unstable in the FX market. In fact, it was said that in the first quarter of the year, um, the, the figures, the exchange rate changed at almost 23 times. From January up until February, or up until April, the exchange rate changed almost 23 times. And I think about 10 times, I think about 10 times in April, 10 times in April. The exchange rate used to determine customs charges at the country's seaports and airport has been increased again and increased again by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Usually, if an importer wants to import into the country, one of the major steps to take is to visit a bank accredited by the Central Bank of Nigeria to get, the, to get a form called Form M. Form M. Some importers have not found it easy since the Central Bank of Nigeria decided to peg the Form M to Nigerian Autonomous Foreign Exchange Market Exchange Rate. For them, even if the Naira falls to 1,000 Naira per dollar, it may be difficult for the improvement to reflect in the market prices for products because most importers in Nigeria will be concerned about how much they will pay to restock. There is the forecast that if the government can peg the form M rate to around 1,000 naira per dollar, there is the high possibility that prices of imported items in the country will drop. This move by the federal government could lead to increased government revenue, no doubt. The move to increase the import, import um, duty um, would, in, in many ways, increase government revenue because our government at the moment is seeking every possible way to make money. I think on this show, we've spoken about the cybersecurity levy, spoke about the um, removal of electricity subsidy. The government is looking for every way possible to make money. And so this move is a move in that same direction to increase government revenue. And this can make this can be used to fund public services, can be used to develop our infrastructure, can also improve social programs. It could also promote domestic production when new import duties can make locally produced goods cheaper compared to imports. Yeah? By encouraging domestic production and discouraging unnecessary import, new duties can improve Nigeria's balance of payment by reducing the outflow of foreign exchange. So what should we expect going forward given the update by the Nigeria Customs Service? We may begin to pay more for imported goods since import duties directly increase the cost of imported goods, which eventually leads to higher prices for consumers. In economics, when talking about inflation, you talk about um, demand pool inflation, talking about the fact that when the demand for a particular product is high, tendencies are excellent that the price of that commodity will increase. Also, we talk about cost push inflation. When the cost of a particular product increases, producers tend to pass on the increased cost to the consumers when they want to get the product. And that's what we begin to see in days to come. There is a fear of reduced consumer choice with fewer imported goods available or at, uh, at higher prices. Consumers may have fewer choices and limited access to specialized or high quality products that are not readily available domestically. The effectiveness of import duties depend on several factors. In economics, there is something called import substitution. Very simple. It's the idea that blocking imports of manufactured goods 
can help an economy by increasing the demand for domestically produced goods. The big question is, do we have domestic alternative? And I suspect that um, the idea of import substitution must have been considered. But how successful this potential import substitution idea is relies on the existence of viable domestic alternatives at competitive prices and quantity. The frequency of the change of the duty rate is something to also talk about. The fear that the levy might change soon can be a discouraging factor for importers, which is not entirely a good thing, not entirely a good consequence. The recommendation is that it should take a while before these import duties rise or are raised again. Um, I think it was on this show where I also shared on the idea that it, it's a great thing for the government to peg the import duty to 1,000 naira per dollar because it's not, a, it's not a good thing that importers cannot predict what the um, import duty is. And if that, if that begins to happen consistently, what will happen is that uh, we're going to have, we're going to have less uh, products that um, can, in, can inspire us in terms of alternatives. The tendency that we would also, if some importers insist they want to import into the country, they're going to increase the price of whatever they bring into the country, which is not a good thing in many ways. So the recommendation for the government is that the government um, looks into this even critically and try to peg, try to peg the exchange rate so that um, importers can be happy and can make their moves in a, in a strategic and calculated way. We've come to the end of the show today. Do well to follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on TikTok, on LinkedIn, and every platform that exists. Uh, you can also check our other episodes. Before now, I did CAC versus POS operators. I've done cybersecurity levy. You can check out that and put your comment there. I will look for. I look forward to seeing your comment and also react as soon as I see that. My name is Oluwak Pelubi. I will see you on the next one.